Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at how to analyze uh, multiple response survey data, where the responses uh, to the multiple response question uh, come in multiple columns. So this kind of uh, multiple response data from one is common, uh, especially for survey to go and other paid uh, survey platforms, you are likely to get your multiple response questions uh, appear this when you download uh, the data. But of course, there they are some options you can kind of define or you, you kind of export your data in whichever form that you want. So in the previous video, we looked at how to analyze uh, multiple response survey data uh, where the uh, responses come in single column uh, but separated by comma delimiter uh, and also where they are separated by space delimiter creation you can check them out so in this video we are going to look at how do we handle a multiple column kind of multiple response uh, survey data but more importantly we are going to look at how do we divide the number of responses in our pivot table by the number of respondents who answered that question this is very important uh, because it will help us to make sense of our data referencing to uh, the sub sample or the total sample of respondents who uh, really answered that question. Uh, and that is one of the key important things uh, that we are going to look at. All right, so let's look at how do we handle the situation. So a bit of context is that we, we have a survey data uh, where in the survey we ask respondents, which of the following devices do you own? So we have feature phones, smartphone, tablet, laptop, desktop, computer. So with these checkboxes, respondents uh, uh, had the option to select more than one. Okay, so uh, we downloaded our data and we have this. So what is happening is that this is our first response selection. So it's indexed by one. So that means that's the first. The second one is indexed by two, three, four, up to the last option. So here in this specific kind of multiple column, uh, you know, multiple tries data, each selection comes in the data as, as the label to that response. So we have the respondent, uh, who selected tablet, the tablet appear in the data. Those who selected laptop, the laptop appears in the data. So how do we handle this kind of multiple response, uh, survey data? All right, so once you have your data, first you have to select, if it is not already in a table, you select all the data range, you control T, then you'll be able to convert it to a table. So once you have it uh, in table, you go to data, from data, you go to from uh, table or range, then you load it to Power Query. So we have our data here. Let's name it data option, option three. All right, so when we have it here, the first step is to select all the multiple response columns. So we have, this is the first one we selected. Uh, you can select uh, control, uh, and then you'll be able to select all the columns that you want to select. So once we select this, we go to transform. So from, from transform, go to unpivot columns, and then we unpivot only selected columns. So once we have these two columns, we added to our data. This one is the column names to each of the uh, columns in that we unpivot. That we don't need this. So right click and remove this. All right. So this is now our unpivoted multiple response column. This is the column that we need. So we can name it question five uh, devices uh, they own. So devices that the respondents own. So this is the column that we are going to use to summarize in our pivot table. And we are done. So once we are done, we go to home from home. Uh, we close and load to data model. So here we check add this data to the data model. We want to generate a pivot table in an existing sheet. So we want to add the pivot table to this sheet. We scroll down and then we place our pivot table and then okay we have it here all right so um what we have here is that you see the last column here is the last column in the data is the unpivoted column which is what we are interested in. so we pick this and drop it in the row form so now what we want to do is that we want to count for each selection here or each device here how many respondents selected that device that they own 
that specific device. So we pick this ID, which is which identify individual respondents in the survey. So we drop it in a value fold. So for pivot table by default, uh, when you have a numeric column, uh, uh, by default, this column will be summarized uh, as sum. So we don't need this. So what we need is that we, we need the counts. So we summarize values by count. So when we do this, you see that our grand total is 74. And this 74 is the sum of the number of selections for each device. But what we want the grand total to be, that's who answered that question, not the number of selections that this respondents did. So you see that our number of respondents, we have 50 in the survey data uh, as number of respondents, but it's grand total here is 74 because it's multiple response, respondents could select more than one. So when we divide by this grand total, it doesn't really give us uh, an insight with reference to the number of respondents that is steady. So what we need to do is to add this ID again, but now we'll summarize it by distinct count. And when we do this, you see that we have the same number of respond, uh, responses for each uh, device, but then here our grand total is the number of respondents in the survey who answered that question. So we can right click and then show values as percentage of this grand total. And then we have our, our data. We can kind of sort this in sending order, uh, and then we are good to go. So that is it. So this is how we, uh, we, we analyze multiple response, uh, survey data where the responses come in multiple columns and this selection appears in the data, uh, as, as a label. So that is it. Thank you very much. You.